the model which we all were waiting for is here. Quen 3 next 80 billion parameters but only 3 billion activated during inference which means this model can be run on CPU and also on one GPU. Just again imagine this. Just a few weeks back it was unthinkable to run such massive models on such a platform. But now it seems possible and I believe that is one big, big or deep seek moment for Alibaba. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot. In this video, we are going to install this Quen3 Next model and we will see how it works. I am going to use CPU for this video. Also, I am going to explain the whole architecture of this model because we normally test model a lot. I will be testing it out too very thoroughly, but I want to spend a bit more time on architecture later in the video. So for now, let's get started and get it installed. I am going to use this Ubuntu system. And if you're looking to rent a VM or CPU on very good price, you can find the link to mass compute in videos description. Now this is my Ubuntu system. First up, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to quickly create a virtual environment with Konda so that we could keep everything nice and separate. Let me run that. It is not going to take much time. And while it installs that, let me quickly introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGent, which is a multi agent workforce desktop application which you can install easily okay let's go back and now let's install all the prerequisites so i'm going to go with the main branch of transformers <coughs> and installing torch and torch vn and few other stuff now while it installs that let's talk a bit more about this model if this is the first time you're hearing about it i already have covered it um, just a couple of days back on the channel so this model is basically a really clever hybrid approach. Look at this diagram. This hybrid approach mixes the best of both worlds. They have got 75% of their layers using gated delta net, which is like the soaped up linear attention mechanism and 25% using traditional scaled dot product attention with some nice tweaks. The delta net parts handle the heavy lifting for long sequences without the quadratic complexity nightmare. While the standard attention layers provide that strong recall capability that linear attention sometimes struggle with. They have also cranked up the sparsity to an insane degree, 80 billion total parameter, but only activating about 3 billion during inference. And it's all being done through their mixture of expert set up with 512 experts and if you compare it to Quen 3's 128 it's like having a massive toolbox but only pulling out the specific tools you need for each task. There are a few other impressive things but I will be talking about them later in the video. Now let's log into Hugging Face. Simply do HF auth login. Grab your read token from Hugging Face. It's a free token and you can grab it from your profile okay i think i would need to give it a proper good token my token is expired and the new token worked and i'm now logged in let me launch my jupyter notebook my jupyter notebook is launched let me now run it on cpu so you can see i'm importing the libraries i'm putting it on cpu device and i'm also just getting it in half precision just to speed things up and I'm offloading it to this local folder. Let's run this. And the model is now being downloaded. There are 41 shards of it. So make sure that you have uh, that much space. I think uh, each shard is around four gig. So you would need quite a lot of, I think 160, just make sure 200 gig is there. While it downloads the model, let's talk a bit more about its architecture, which I'm very keen on. And if you ask me, that is the biggest thing they have done in this model. What really is impressive is how they have resolved a bunch of practical training headaches that usually come with these complex architectures. They are using zero-centered RMS norm, uh, 
everywhere uh, added output getting to prevent attention from getting weird and even normalize the mixture of expert router initialization so experts don't get randomly favored early in the training the multi-token prediction is so neat it's not just bolted on for faster inference but actually trained end-to-end -to, -end to maintain consistency between training and inference phases the result is something that trains far less than 10 percent of the cost of their dense 32 billion model while performing better and during inference it's absolutely flying especially on long context if you have four plus gpus so of course i mean if you want speed you need to use gpus and on cpu it is going to take long time for inference so um, that is why what i'm going to do now while it downloads the model and because it is going to take a bit of a time <clears throat> i'm going to take you to their hosted um, service the chat one meanwhile it downloads we will just test it out there just to see how model performs so just go to chat.coin.ai and then log in with your email for a free account then from the top left select this coin 3 next 80 billion model it is selected and now you can enable thinking or not i'm just going to go without thinking first and i'm asking it to create me a self-contained html file with a rocket zooming dynamically across a random um, direction on the screen and then there are a lot of features which i'm giving it also there is a tool search in it if you go up you see there is a tool search and some function calling is happening L because this model is also quite good in agentic capabilities so let's wait for it to finish creating the code and then i will show you what sort of code it has created and we will run it live in the browser and this is what the code looks like and this is somewhere rocket if you just look, look closely and as it's a promise of the channel i'm not editing anything it is uh, live now i'm clicking on the screen and it is doing well what do you think and behind the scene you see there is a rocket going it's quite different there you go so there is a rocket which is exploding it is not clearing up the screen for some weird reason but i think this is something different and i just put it in the prompt to make it more vivid so that is what vivid is look at the screen not bad at all and physics is quite good it is just zooming across the screen speed speeding up and then speed becomes slow and it is going down and sideways pretty nicely i will take it as a yes it is different too no no doubt about that okay let's go back and check something around thinking and by the way this was a code which i have just copy pasted as is seems like a pretty good code um, the funny thing is that it hasn't given me any sort of synopsis what code is doing nothing just simple plain code okay let's get another new chat next up i'm going to check out its thinking we can so there is a thinking budget we can control it but i'll just keep it like that what a thinking one i'm just asking it to solve this lotka volterra equation and plot the results so there will be coding element to some probabilities some logic let's check out its step-by-step -step thinking so it is understanding what it needs to do and it knows about them it i can already tell it from the first paragraph and it has come up with uh, standard form of it which is spot on it is checking its own response at what user wants and you see this reaction hmm, the user did it like just like a human it is thinking it is going deep into it and it is solving the equation then step by step the chain of thought is very clear and looks pretty good to me and then it has devised the steps it is even defining parameters checking them also checking alternatives and then from there it is just zooming through it amazing stuff still printing so i will let it finish and i'll go back and check where our local installation is and the model is now downloaded and offloaded to cpu and these are all the shards which were downloaded 
okay let me quickly show you my cpu and gpu configuration too so this is my gpu nothing is on there more importantly this is my cpu which is uh, to be fair quite heavy and this is the one all the configuration is there you can see that it is quite heavy one now this is my memory configuration and most of it is free which is quite good and so you can easily run out on cpu let me also show you the size of the model on the disk so it is consuming quite a lot of uh, space there so you see it's quite huge it's not uh, you know close to 160 i would say gig okay so that is that let's do the inference for the inference the code is very very simple we are providing it a prompt that for what is the smallest country in the world we are tokenizing it model is generating the output and then we are printing it back you can also specify thinking and non-thinking parameters here in the um, model generation parameters but i'm just going to go with default because this is going to take long time so let me run this so it is running at the moment so let's wait and it's been 10 minutes and that one is still running so i will just let it run we will check the thinking again it's all it always fascinates me to look at this thinking stuff and this is a step-by-step -step solution from their hosted stuff that understanding the model it is understanding what this equation is which is perfectly fine initial conditions time span this is really good and then it has given us the plot which seems spot on very very nicely written and then it has also given us some expected plot output i think it will be good if quen also has some um preview on the right hand side just like anthropic or chat gpt it will be good to see you know the code in action real time and then it is telling us why this is going to work and then final input so it says that i can't render image but it just has tried to put do something and this is a simulated image very interesting meanwhile our local cpu one is still running i will just pause the video and then wait for it and i will tell you how long did it take um, and then i will also put it on my gpu i will spin up another vm and i will also show you how to run it on the gpu single one Okay, it's been 40 minutes that one is still running so i will just let it run i'm just going to check out one multilingual prompt here again it's a very standard prompt which i check which covers a lot of things so i am asking it to translate the sentence clicking to the past is like holding on to smoke into following languages and then there are various languages i'm also testing the model with gibberish and some additional stuff where i'm asking you to check this runic script fictional language translation and also a cultural note for the three languages of your choice let's run this and wait for it and of course if you are that language speaker please also confirm in the comments if you think the translation is correct or not i will let it print first and then i will scroll through it for you to verify and there you go so it has given us the translation where it is in english mandarin visually looking at it and checking with google translate it looks good to me but i will take your advice in all of the languages so you see even urdu is fine indonesian japanese swahili all the regional indian languages look pretty good but some of them are i'm not sure so please advise tagalog is there <coughs> korean italian <coughs> Uh, polish there is a polish viewer who also always say that there is no a uh, polish uh, there are not many polish models so but at least we cover polish check it out and then all of these languages you can pause and check your language so you see pretty good and then the runic script looks very interesting and the fictional language is some hall i don't know what that is but it has done the literal breakdown so cultural notes are in japanese very nice that's because the uh, prompt contained smoke so it is 
saying that smoke is deeply tied to impermanence. Swahili so that embolia means smoke but also carries connotations of illusion. And then it is uh, given the Amharic one. Wow, that is very, very nice. And it says that these are linguistically accurate, culturally adapted where necessary and preserve the metaphor essence. That attachment to the intangible is futile. This is really stroke of brilliance, I would say. Amazing stuff. And eventually, after 55 minutes, it has given us this response, which is perfectly fine. The smallest country is Vatican, and then a couple of lines around Vatican. Takes time, but you can run it on CPU. The future looks really rosy here. Now, quickly, let me show you how you can run it on GPU and how much VRAM it is going to consume. Let me spin up another VM, and then we will run it. And this is my new VM where I have put in the gone with the GPU and I will shortly show you. So this is where I have just put the device map to auto, which is going to detect GPU and put it in there. And then I asked it to write 10 sentences ending with the word happy. And again, just device map is auto. And you can see that it has produced a perfectly fine answer. I don't see any mistake there. Every sentence is ending with happy. Let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption model is fully loaded in full precision and then in that case just consumes touch over 68 gig of vram so amazing this let me know what you think about this new model please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member as that helps a lot thank you for all the support